Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nessa Jane and today I wanted to do just like a get to know me video. Um, I haven't really posted out there anything about, you know, um, how to get to know me or who I am, why I started YouTube or any of those fun facts there. And so I just kind of wanted to sit down with you guys today and just let you know what I'm all about and who I am and why I'm doing what I'm doing. So um, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And you can also find me on Instagram at Nessa Jane underscore styles, on Twitter at Nessa Jane styles, and on Facebook now at Nessa Jane styles. So if you end up liking this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and also be sure to hit that bell to get notified for any future video. So let us get into a get to know me video. Okay, you guys, so where to start about me? I don't want to bore you guys with, oh, I'm la la la, la I'm from here and la 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 la, yeah all the life details, but I, I kind of feel like I've got to start there. So, um, I am from the, um, Inland Northwest and where that is located at is that is located, um, in between the Washington state and Idaho state border, kind of somewhere within that general vicinity, um, is where I am located at. I absolutely love this area here. Um, there's plenty of mountains. We do lots of hiking lots of outdoors stuff. I'm actually originally from Williston, North Dakota, and Williston, North Dakota is middle of nowhere, tiny town, mainly just an agriculture town. Oil has hit there a few years, like 2010-ish, and um, it, it, I mean, it was just a massive boom. My family had actually moved from Idaho over to Williston to live closer to my grandparents. Um, or in 2000, and so by 2010, when I was a teenager um, slash graduating from high school, they, I mean, the oil boom just like blew up, and we had so many people moving in, lots of infrastructure going on, and about over a year ago, um, done with this place, I'm done living here, I need to actually live my life and do, and be away from Williston and away from my family, unfortunately, but I just needed to get out for my own mental benefit. And so we ended up moving here um, over a year ago, which was such a blessing. I got to be closer to my brother and same with my niece. And I was just crazy, crazy excited about it. So overall, the move was just probably the best thing that I've ever done in my life. And for me, mentally and physically, it's been the best decision I've ever made. I am kind of the jack of all trades. At the current moment, I am going um, back to school to get my accounting degree. I have my bachelor's in business administration, but I felt like business is so broad that I needed to narrow it down. And so I went back for my accounting degree and I have two semesters. I'm finishing off the spring semester and then I have summer semester and then I will be graduated. So I am also going to get my real estate license. Um, my boyfriend, when we moved over here, he flipped a house and uh, he would like to do some more investments once the, mar once the market kind of dies down. And so instead of giving commission to another real estate agent, I decided, well, why not I become a real estate agent and we can just do deals together. So I'm also going back to do that. So I have taken all the classes for it. I just need to take the broker's exam and then get my license. So that's really exciting there. I'm almost done with that. I've already mentioned my boyfriend Landon. We have been together for three and a half years, um, which is crazy. Uh, his longest girlfriend was like six months, so he doesn't know what he's doing with himself. Um, he's all confused, I guess. <laughs> so, but we make very good hair and I'm just so happy every day that I get to be with with my best friend who supports me no matter what direction I go. So I'm just so thankful to have him in my life. He's a, an amazing partner. So, And then I also have two very small dogs. You will probably see me post them all over Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter, everywhere. I love my dogs. So one dog, her name is Belle. I've had her 
Um, she's about 11 or 12. She is an Italian Greyhound. And so essentially what an Italian Greyhound is, is if you imagine a, a big Greyhound, these dogs were bred down to be tiny size, to be lap dogs. And so Belle, she weighs about 10 pounds and she has her entire life since I've got her. She was like two or three when I got her. And um, very fast. Sight hounds have a mind of their own. They do not listen. Belle potties on the floor every once in a while, but she is the best companion that you can have. She's very, always got to be close to your side. She kind of knows if I'm going through something, if I'm struggling. She knows how to cuddle with me and she just knows me inside and out. So she is my baby. I love my, my puppy baby, Belle. She is um, the light of my life. She's super. Now on to my other baby. Her name is Francesca. We call her Frankie for short. She is, I think, I haven't gotten her DNA tested because I don't think those things work accurately, but she is an Italian Greyhound, I think Pomeranian or Chihuahua mix. She is one of the smartest dogs ever. She's a little bit skittish, but she listens so well. Like Lennon has taught her to sit, to roll over, to shake. Um, to lay down. She's very, very smart for a small dog. Um, she's the best mannered small dog that I have honestly ever seen. Most small dogs are super um, all over the place and they don't listen to you and very independent and she's not. She's, um, I have to be around my people all the time and love my people all the time. Um, so that's what I really love about Frankie is just how loving she is, how much she listens, and how much she wants to brighten up your day. Yeah, so that's my little family that I have. I have Landon and two very adorable dogs. So you'll definitely be seeing me post, especially about my dogs all the time, because I absolutely love them. They are my, my buddies. Okay, so now that we have kind of discussed who I am, my puppy children, my boyfriend, where I'm at in life, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's get into why I started my YouTube channel and why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I really wanted to start this YouTube channel so I could be doing something and working on something every day that I want to do with my life. Now, I know you're like, well, you have a degree and you know you're working in, as an accounting assistant. Well unfortunately a lot of things in life people lead you down a path because that's what you should do not because that's what you want to do and unfortunately in my life I've done a lot of things that people think I should do and not what I really want to do so I finally started to really hone in on myself and focus on just me and Last year, I was talking about starting a YouTube channel, and I'd filmed a couple things, and I hated them, and I was super picky about it. I'm very self-conscious about the way I look and the way I talk. Um, I have a little bit of a lisp, and that really makes me self-conscious about myself. And so I just um, was afraid to put myself out there on the internet. I was afraid that I would get teased or called ugly, and or you know maybe people would say I didn't know enough about makeup and all of those kind of things. And so. Um, but 2018 rolled around and I just was like, I'm sick and tired of doing something that everybody else wants me to do. So I'm going to finally start the one thing that I want to do for myself. And I'm doing it for me because this is something that I honestly, truly love, love, love to do. And I want to spread that message to as many people as I can. I, I have, um... My niece Adeline that watches me avidly. I have a friend of mine, her daughter watches me all the time. Honestly, my friend's daughter, she is the one thing that got me kickstarted and fired up and made myself finally start my channel. She, ha um, she has loved makeup for quite a while and she wanted makeup for um, Christmas and her birthday. And so I ended up purchasing her um, a couple ColourPop palettes that I knew would be good and a couple other products and I kind of put together like this little um, what you need in your makeup bag. You know, I gave her mascara, the eyeshadow palette, makeup remover wipes, all of those brushes and all of those things. 
and I wanted to make a video on it so that way she could watch me actually using the products that I gave her and teaching her how. Um, and I also want to just spread the message to her and to my niece and, and to everybody who's inspired me to get this started is that don't do what society thinks you should do. Do what you want to do. And, and so I finally want, I, I finally did something for myself and I went for my goals. Now I think we should talk about hobbies. And I'm going to be honest, I don't really have any hobbies um, because I work all the time. And I have homework. Um, I mean, I, I enjoy working out. I love running. Running is a good hobby for me. It's good stress relief for me. Uh, and working out in general is. I do enjoy that. Um, I am a coffee snob. I absolutely love coffee. I was a barista for five years, maybe? A, a long time. And luckily I worked with a really good boss who fully took the time to understand everything of the coffee business and so I knew what good shots looked like and what everything about just the coffee world in general. So now when I go to other coffee shops I'm kind of a coffee snob and when I purchase beans I'm super snotty about it. Okay you guys so that sums up this get to know me video and why I started YouTube and my little family and, and all of those things. Um, I just wanted to hop on here and just let you know what I'm all about. So I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below before you leave. So again, thank you again for watching, for being here. I greatly appreciate it. And just remember, always be doing something that you love, not something that people think you should be doing. So... Have a great day, everyone. Thank you again for watching. Um, and yeah, I will see everyone in my next video. Bye.